Here we are at the print show on the morning of the last day and we are just showing how we are placing orders for our personalised beer bottles and Craig now is just going to place an order for a Wren's beer bottle, one of our partners here at the print show. Craig is just entering some details on screen, saving the file and then that file will automatically be processed into Slingshot once an order has been complete on his laptop. This order can be placed on a mobile device and uh, or a PC. So what's happening here Craig? We're just going to check out the orders. We're going to put our customer's order number in, set our delivery name and then just check out. Once we press check out it submits the order to Slingshot. Slingshot then gives us a response and we will get our order number. So we now see we have our order number 583. And if we now go across the slingshot. We can now see our external order ID, which in this instance is the core print order number, has actually arrived. And what is Slingshot, Jeremy? So Slingshot is our um, Rico's MIS system. So it's the hub of your business. It's taking all the orders from VPress, web to print, and it's creating a job from the, from those orders. Multi-lines within those orders as well, so not just one, one line within the job. It could be 50, 100, doesn't matter. They will all then be sent out to various different places for manufacturing around your business. And then all the warehousing, all of the invoicing, all of the scheduling, all of the production is managed through here as well. Cool. Okay, so what's happening now is the files that have been released from Slingshot have now been sent to a program that Rico have got called Batch Builder. Batch Builder will start to receive those files and you'll see from the list down the left hand side I've got some filters in here. The filter that we're interested in is the one at the print show at the top. That is looking out for some labels to come across. Once the labels start to appear as they are now, I've asked it to batch in batches of six because we can get six up on a sheet. Once it's received all of those six labels, it will then push them directly over to the Ricoh 5200, ready for printing. Batch Builder, we have a, an area where we can create our own impositions, and this is the imposition scheme created for the labels. So this is the order, the order that's come from VPress, gone through all of the different processes and now ended up on the 5200 Rico, ready for printing, ready to go. And here's the finished article, all the way through the automated system.